My name is Martin Gregory, I'm with Alter G. Uh, the G Trainer Anti Gravity Treadmill is an awaiting device. Uh, you may be familiar with pools or harness systems. The big difference is when, when we uh, unweight a patient, we're unweighting them with air pressure. And the advantage of that is that uh, we have full range of motion, unrestricted movement, and normal gait. We can take a patient's body weight anywhere from 100% of their body weight all the way down to 20% and back up again in 1% increments. That means for any orthopedic rehabilitation post-surgery or post-injury, uh, we can get a person moving very quickly because we don't have infection issues that you would have in a pool and we can take them very slowly and very accurately to full weight bearing through that rehab process. We have about 140, I believe, 150 units out in the field everywhere from medical centers, rehab facilities, um, the military, both for rehabilitation and performance. I believe we have about 15 NBA teams, three NFL teams, and uh, a number of pro soccer teams that have the unit. And they're using it not only for rehabilitation, but also for sports performance. A lot of elite athletes will use it not only to rehab post-surgery uh, or injury, but they'll also use it to extend their conditioning volume. Around 100 miles a week an elite athlete will break down, well they can reduce their road mileage, uh, increase their, um, their mileage on the G-Trainer, reduce body weight, and so their conditioning volume increases. We also um, have a number of facilities using it to rehabilitate uh, neurological patients, everything from SCI, TBI, and uh, a Dr. Nancy Bile at UCSF has just done a pilot study with Parkinson's patients showing significant uh, increase in and uh, reduction of falls, um, improvement of their gait, balance, and I believe Nancy is going to be doing a 40-person uh, uh, fall study shortly. Another application is with uh, amputees. Walter Reed Medical Center has a couple of units, both in their outpatient orthopedic and in an amputee clinic. And with an amputee, you can weight them very early on in, uh, when they get the prosthetic and then take the, the individual very slowly uh, by increasing their body weight and their speed till they have normal gait, <coughs> normal walking action. And what's very unique with this unit is you can then take that individual uh, particularly a 21 year old, 22 year old uh, who has an amputation so you can have them jogging or running again. So the applications are numerous and every time we go out to a conference like this or uh, we talk to clinicians we're finding new applications. Everything from arthritis to uh, individuals that uh, may be overweight, bariatric patients. We're a little limited by the opening up here. It is 58 inches but we, we can work with a patient anywhere from 90 pounds to 400 pounds. So it's very unique. Uh, it's been on the market for about a year and a half and uh, hopefully the more people find out about it, uh, the more we get out in the field and we'll get input to make certain changes. We do have a bag that has portholes in order uh, <coughs> to have limb access if you're working with a neurological patient where, where you want to have some assistive help.